Luke chapter, verses 28 through 31, the Most High said to the angels, I am creating a human being from black mud, like the potter's clay. Once I perfect him and I blow into him from my spirit, you shall fall prostrate before him. The angels fell prostrate, all of them except Iblis, Satan. He refused to be with the prostrators. The Most High said unto Iblis, Satan, What prevented you from prostrating when I ordered you? Satan said, I am better than he. You, Father, created me from fire and created him from mud. The Most High said, O oh, Iblis, Satan, why are you not with the prostrators? He said, I am not to prostrate before a human being whom you created from black mud like the potter's clay. The Most High said, Therefore you must get out. You are banished. You have incurred my condemnation until the day of judgment. When we look upon the ethnic and racial makeup of the continents of Asia, Northern Africa, and the so-called Middle East, one can clearly observe the racial demographics of this part of the world is due to the intermingling of the seeds. According to science and world history, the nations of Afghanistan, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Iraq, Iran, Egypt, and the rest of the so-called Middle East are in reality the result of the white race intermingling their seed with the original darker peoples of the earth. As history has taught us, to the victor go the spoils. Alexander the Great, the ruler of Greece, pillaged the lands of Persia, Assyria, Babylon, and throughout the known world, conquering the men and raping the women. During this time, the men of these defeated nations were killed, enslaved, or fled out of their homeland to a place of safety. The women who were captured were raped and consequently gave birth to their conquerors' offspring, thus making the children Gentiles, for life is in the seed. Thus, when we witness China fighting Tibet, or Pakistan fighting India, Israel fighting the Palestinians, we are witnessing Gentiles fighting against Gentiles. That part of the world has almost been ethnically cleansed from the original clay peoples of the earth. In 2005, journalist Rick Weiss of the Washington Post reported, and I quote, scientists from Penn State University have discovered a tiny genetic mutation that largely explains the first appearance of white skin in humans, a finding that helps solve one of biology's most enduring mysteries and illuminates one of humanity's greatest sources of strife. The article goes on to state that the skin whitening mutation occurred by chance in a single individual after the first human exodus from Africa when all people were brown skinned. End of quote. The genomes of most modern humans are Neanderthal, except those from Africa, a result of inbreeding with the close relatives that went extinct 30,000 years ago, according to work by an international group of researchers. This will change our view of humanity, says John Hardy, a neuroscientist at University College in London, who was not involved in the research but studies genetic neurodegenerative diseases. Examining the five contemporary genomes, they saw Neanderthal genetic regions in the three genomes of modern humans who have migrated across Europe or Asia, but not in the genomes of the two African populations, the San from Southern Africa and the Yoruba from Western Africa. This suggests that Neanderthals bred outside Africa with Homo sapiens, who migrated out of that region about 100,000 years ago. On the basis of the fossil record of human migrations, the team proposes that this took place in the eastern Mediterranean. Therefore, they say modern humans from Europe and Asia are closer genetically to Neanderthals than those from sub-Saharan Africa. As we see, according to science, white skin is a genetic mutation which lacks the natural pigmentation protection that is afforded to the darker indigenous native and aboriginal people of the earth. My friends, we have been lied to and led astray. In order for the true Hebrew Israelites to effectively proclaim Yahweh's glorious message to the world, we must first recognize that our fathers have taught us lies. We must also understand that in order for the souls of man to be saved, the truth must be confessed and the lies must be revealed. Welcome to Mount Hermon with the fallen angels. It says the sons of Yahweh, sons of God, saw the daughters of women, 
sought daughters of men and saw that they were fair and they conspired one to another to go and to do this thing and to go to the women and they had sex with the women and when they had the sex with the women bore them children and this is how the beginning of the mixing of iron with clay Daniel chapter 2 40 and 43 and the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron for as much as iron breaks in pieces and subdues all things and as iron that breaks all these shall it break in pieces and bruise and whereas thou saw the feet and toes part of the potter's clay and part of iron the kingdom shall be divided but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron for as much as thou saw the iron mixed with miry clay and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken and whereas thou saw iron mixed with miry clay they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men but they shall not cleave one to another even as iron is not mixed with clay. Psalms, the 82nd chapter, verses 6 through 8. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O Yahweh, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. The scriptures proclaim that Noah's son, Yafet, sojourned out from among his brothers, Ham and Shem, to what we call the continent of Africa, and dwelt in the caves of Europe. The scriptures call this place the Isles of the Gentiles, and according to the German scientist Johann Frederick Blumenbach, in 1795, the birthplace of the Caucasian Anglo race is the Caucasus Mountains, located in the former Soviet Union. Romans 11 verses 25 through 27 for I would not brethren that ye should be ignorant of this mystery lest ye should be wise in your own conceits that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in and so all Israel shall be saved as it is written there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob for this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins hallelujah My friends, as we have explained, Satan despises and hates with the passion the children of the clay and has sought from the beginning to destroy Yahweh's original creation. Satan has used science to genetically manipulate the seeds and has grafted the mutated seed of iron into the original seed of the clay. Thus we have the creation of the diverse peoples of the earth. For example, U.S. Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid has apologized for private comments, saying, I quote, Mr. Obama could win the presidency since he was a light-skinned African-American with no Negro dialect, end quote. Even Mr. Obama called himself a mutt during a White House briefing on what breed of dog he would choose for his children. My friends, in this evil world, which is presently under the rule of the devil, skin color does matter. I never will